Hi guys, my name's Andy. Uh, if you're like me and you've been having some issues with your Focusrite software, uh, conflicting, causing some distortion, some crackling or popping, then you're going to want to take a look at these seven tips that I've got for you. Now these seem to be the most common fixes that I could find on the internet. Number one, the very basic stuff. Delete your Focusrite software and reinstall it. So if you have Focusrite control, delete it, uninstall it, re-download it, and then reinstall it. Nice clean installation. Hopefully it'll get it sorted. So what you want to do to do that is you want to head over to the download section on focusrite.com. You're going to pick your brand, which is Focusrite. You're going to choose what product type you have. So I have a Scarlet Solo Fair Generation. So I'm going to click on Scarlet Solo Fair Gen. As we're talking about Windows, we're going to head down to this section here. Um, focus right control 3.6.0 windows and we're going to head over to this button on the right and press download once it's downloaded you'll see it pop up in your download section and we're going to click on that exe file and we're going to install it once you've installed it you will be able to access focus right control so as you can see the focus right control panel if you click on the little cog here you'll be able to tell what version you're on so 3.6.0.1822 is the latest version as of the 15th of August 2021. Step two, you want to make sure your sample rate is set to 48,000. If it's not, change it now. If you're still having issues at 48,000 hertz, then what you're going to do is you're going to drop it to 44,000. You can right click on your little speaker icon in the bottom right, open sound settings. And then you're going to go to the right hand side, the sound control panel. Once you've clicked on that, it'll bring up your playback and recording devices. So at the minute, we are running through the Focusrite USB audio. We're going to click on properties, head over to the advanced tab. And then we're going to check that this setting here matches the one that we have in our Scarlet Solo device settings. If you change in your device settings, it will automatically change in this. It will only come up with the options that is in your Focusrite device settings. So if we close this down, change this to 48,000. Back into the sound control panel. And then we're going to click on our properties again. And as you'll see, it's changed to 48,000 hertz. If this doesn't work, try the 44,100. And if you still have any issues, let's move on to step three. Step three, we're going to change the buffer. Now this buffer here should be set to 192 as standard, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to change it to 256. If you still have any issues running at 256, then change your audio back to 48,000 and 192 and save those changes. If you still have any issues, move on to step number four. Now, step number four, a lot of people have reported that you should just try another USB port. So if you head over to your start menu, right click and head into device manager. You'll see here that you have the USB controllers. So you will have different root hubs in your computer. A USB hub can be overloaded if you have too many devices going in, if it's an older computer especially. So what you're going to do, you're going to unplug every other USB device that you don't need apart from your mouse and keyboard. You're going to plug your audio interface into each USB port and see if any of them resolve the issue. Once you've done that, you can start plugging the other USB devices back in and then you'll you'll know if it's a bandwidth issue to do with USB ports or you'll know if it was just that one specific port that your audio interface was trying to use. We're going to move on to number five. So we're going to check our speaker settings are set to two channel 48,000 Hertz for the output. Now I don't personally have the option on my system to change this. Mine automatically comes up with 24 bit studio quality. It doesn't give me any channel options, but some people will have the option to change from two channel to four channel, eight channel. Now you want this set to two channel 24 bit. 48,000 hertz 
you can untick these. Some people have had success by unchecking this box and then applying those settings so that applications cannot take exclusive control of the device. For me, it works perfectly with these left on. If that doesn't work, we're going to move on to step six. You're going to check that your audio interface is receiving adequate power from your computer. Now, this can be hard to tell. The only way you can check really is to try another computer and see if it has any more joy or buy a powered USB free hub and plug it directly into that. And our final step, and this is the one that was related to me. This is what was causing my issues. After trying all the above steps, I was still having distorted sound. It was usually when I was running OBS or Streamlabs and I, I just presumed it was a bandwidth issue, but it turns out NVIDIA broadcast software, there's some form of conflict when I installed it on my computer. So I did try to disable the NVIDIA output for speakers. I tried to disable the NVIDIA input for the microphone and leave the camera side of it for the built-in green screen for the NVIDIA broadcast app and that just had no joy. After fully deleting the NVIDIA broadcast software, it worked a treat. So my focus right is now working perfectly, as you can tell by the microphone I'm using now. Um, so try these seven steps and if you're still having issues, good luck to you. But hopefully this helped and goodbye.